Once you've got everything installed and you are ready to create, you're going to go ahead and go to that Create tab to create a new Luna session. So I'll click on the Create tab, and there we go. A lot of different options here. You can give it a name right from the beginning. So there we go. Now if I wanted to start from a template, I can click on Start from a Template right there. And what that does is that you can actually set up a template. If you record a lot where you use drums, bass, guitar, everything in your studio is already hooked up to those inputs, you can set up a template that already has everything mapped where you want it. You know, your kick drum onto input one, your snare drum into input two, your bass amp into input nine all that kind of stuff. And you could save it as a template. And then you just open that template and then it'll create a new file with all that stuff set up, which is nice. You can also start from an AAF file. So if you're going to interchange between a different DAW or something like that, you've got a little bit of ability to open up a previous AAF file and import that data. Now, you can set the tempo before you even start, and I do love that we've got a tap tempo button there. So you can go ahead and tap the tempo if you're feeling something, and it'll put it in exactly, and then you can go ahead and modify it to, you know, round it off if you don't want to stick with a number like that. You've got a time signature over here. You can go ahead and change the lower number. So if you want to go in 6-8 or something like that, easy to quickly switch up there. You've got your location, so if you want to create the file in a specific location and not in your music folder. So a lot of us out there use separate editing hard drives for our sessions and things like that. You don't want to you know, clog up your main hard drive. That's the place to do it. And then down here, as you start to work with Luna sessions, you'll see them show up in your recent projects file, and you can open them up there like that. Or if you want to open something off of an external disk that you've never opened before, you've got the ability to do it right from there. So when I'm all set, I'll just go ahead and hit create. And there's Luna. Nice, cool, dark theme. A lot of controls, a lot of buttons, but don't get overwhelmed. We're going to look at all this stuff.